coming up next on Good Morning El Paso, the Sun City Showdown is here. A preview of what could be the biggest game in local high school basketball ever. Plus, my speech is not intended to show any disrespect to President Obama. Our alliance is stronger than ever. Tensions are heightened as Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addresses Congress today. The latest on his controversial visit. And it was a cool, wet day for the borderland yesterday, and it's only going to get colder. A first alert has been issued. We have your storm track weather coverage. Live, where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. Good morning at 6 o'clock. If you're just joining us this morning, a first alert is in effect. This is a live look outside from our downtown cam. You can see things moving along pretty smoothly, but of course it doesn't indicate exactly what we have in store for us today. A very good morning, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Hillary Florin. Good morning, everyone. Well, the camera might not indicate what's in store, but we know Crystal can. Oh, yes. She's <laughs> been tracking the changes, Crystal. Tracking the rain out there. Yeah, we are looking at changes heading our way as more showers push through this morning on our clouds and radar map. In fact, a lot of green popping up over southern New Mexico from the boot hill all the way through to Otero, Lincoln counties. We are looking at that rain. Columbus, Deming, been getting a nice moderate rainfall for the morning hours. It's tracking to Las Cruces, and part of this nice area of rain should hit El Paso County. Really looking like the focus might be a west El Paso and northeast as this heads on through later today. Now, here is why we're under that first alert. Today, cool, windy, rainy conditions. Sounds like yesterday, right? Then, Wednesday, more rain chances thanks to a cool front that's heading our direction and the system actually passing our area. Now, we already have a cool front passing us this morning. This will be a secondary cool front with strength. By your Wednesday night to Thursday morning, there could even be a rain-snow mix because of how cool of air is heading our direction. We'll look at how low the forecast lows go in a few minutes. All right, Crystal, thank you. We're learning more about the Fortless soldier who died last week in East Africa. Fortless confirmed 25 year old private first class Jerome Swagger died in Kenya. He was from West Monroe, Louisiana. Officials say he died while on a routine patrol, although the details are not being released at this time. His death does not appear to be related, though, to any attack or a suicide. In an interview with the Army Times, Swigert's aunt said the family was told it would be another four weeks until an autopsy was concluded. No park zone! No park zone! No park zone! No park zone! No Several students are at risk of not getting their diplomas after walking out yesterday in protest of a mandatory exam, specifically the newly implemented park exam. Students from all over New Mexico, including Las Cruces, participated. The park exam replaces portions of the standards-based assessment, and administrators say this test is actually harder. Parents did have the opportunity to opt their child out of taking the test, but sophomores and juniors need to pass it to graduate. As of Friday, the district told our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom 460 had opted out of testing. In Albuquerque, the scene was the same. Look at that. Big numbers. Students walked out of class and others held sit-ins on campus. The state wants to use the test results to grade teachers and schools, but students say they're too different and too stressful. A spokeswoman for the Public Education Department told ABC7 last week it would be against the law to drop a state exam. They are required to give an annual assessment under state and federal law. Three people are recovering this morning after being stabbed at a home in northeast El Paso. It happened around 6 o'clock yesterday morning at a home on Flory Avenue. Details about the stabbing are still limited. An officer at the scene told our photographer the victims were found in a white truck. No word of any arrests as of yet, but we will update you if we get any new information. 21 and a half years in prison. That's how long a New Mexico man convicted of having a sexual relationship with a teen has been sentenced to. 35 year old Jason Reyes was originally sentenced to 31 and a half years, but the judge suspended 10 years. He was not only accused of having sex with the 13 year old boy, but prosecutors say he also allowed his own boyfriend to have sex. The trial for Reyes's boyfriend, Juan Antonio Serrano, is scheduled to begin next week. Meanwhile, happening today, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will address his opposition to President Obama's nuclear talks with Iran. The controversial invitation from Republicans is polarizing views on those talks and on Israel. Let's go to ABC's Susan Salney with the very latest. With Benjamin Netanyahu's arrival in Washington, a major test of the U.S.-Israeli relationship is underway. 
The centerpiece of the Israeli Prime Minister's trip is a speech to Congress later today, a speech that has exposed deep tensions because it came at the invitation of congressional Republicans who did not involve or even inform the White House. Netanyahu himself sought to downplay the controversy Monday during his first appearance before a lobbying group. My speech is not intended to show any disrespect to President Obama. Our alliance is stronger than ever. Netanyahu continued his strong criticism of the long-term nuclear agreement with Iran that the Obama administration is negotiating. The deal would relieve sanctions against Iran if it agrees to eliminate its ability to develop nuclear arms. But Netanyahu wants more sanctions against Iran, and he said that parts of the deal are problematic because they pose a threat to Israel's existence. And this same Iran vows to annihilate Israel. Secretary of State John Kerry is meeting in Geneva this week with his Iranian counterpart for the latest round of talks before a late March deadline. Israel's security is absolutely at the forefront of all of our minds. So is our security in the United States. Secretary Kerry said critics of the emerging deal are wrong and that the Obama administration would rather have no deal than a bad one. Susan Salney, ABC News, Washington. In just a few hours, two of the city's top teams will take the court for a spot in the Class 5A Sweet 16. A lot of excitement here. We're talking about the fourth-ranked Andres Eagles versus the fifth-ranked Bel Air Highlanders. Good morning, El Paso's Denise Olivas joins us live with the details. Denise. Good morning, and this is where both teams will be playing right behind me, Bel Air and Andres. They'll be playing here at the Don Haskins tonight. And for high school players, this may very well be the highlight of their basketball careers. And as we mentioned, both teams ranking in the top five in the state of Texas in Class 5A. What better stage than Don Haskins to showcase these incredible teams? Bel Air head coach Rob Deibler leads his team into this game undefeated. The Anders Eagles are 31-1, and and they are led by former Olympian Jim Forbes. And for Coach Forbes, the nerves are already kicking in. I'm always nervous. It doesn't matter what we're doing. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous before every game. Uh, I respect what Bel Air does, and, and they are a very, very dangerous team. They're doing something right. They haven't lost. I knew we were going to win some games, and I, I felt we could win quite a few games. But running off 32 of them, I don't think any coach would would would. It would cross any coach's mind. And what's even more fitting that the game will take place here at the Don Haskins Center, Coach Deibler's dad, Bobby Deibler, played for Coach Haskins in the 1960s. And then Coach Forbes, who played at Bel Air for high school football, also played for Coach Haskins in the 1970s. Tickets for the game are still available. It's $3 for students and $4 for adults. You can buy them at both high schools or at the EPISD headquarters. For now, we're live outside the Don Haskins Center. Denise Olivas, ABC7. Thanks so much, Denise. It'll be exciting out there tonight. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Gas prices are climbing quickly, though, up 40 cents in the last five weeks. It's not just your imagination. AAA reports the average price of a gallon of gas is in all 50 states is now more than $2. In January, more than a half of the gas stations in the U.S. were selling gas for less than $2. Remember to find the cheapest gas in your neighborhood. You can click on our pump patrol section at KVIA.com. Right now, the lowest price in El Paso is at 201. That's at the Sam's Club on Gateway West near Hawkins. In Las Cruces, you can find gas for 203, and that's at the Sam's Club on North Telshore. And it is coming up at on 609. You can see that I-10 and Horizon looks like there are some vehicles out there. It's kind of blurry, but of course you can see that traffic is starting to pick up just slightly over I-10 and Harnos. Same thing. Looks like there are a few more vehicles on the road. You can see off in the distance on the right of your screen, lots of cars getting onto the freeway just west of that. So definitely be careful out there. When you can count all the cars on one hand, it's going to be a good commute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, well, we have the headlines at 6.09. The LAPD is defending itself today after a deadly police shooting was caught on camera. What new surveillance video is now showing us? Also, how some local high school students are getting meeting families to get or helping them get through the cold snap that the borderland is in for. Yeah, exactly. How cold is it going to get this week? That's the big question. Crystal has got the answer. Good morning. Yeah, it's part of our first solar. We are talking some very chilly conditions in the days ahead. One cold front passing us, another one heading our way. The details are after your break. Thanks, Crystal. This is ABC7, where news comes first.